Today I'm going to show you how to set up Cura for the Easy 3D Nano. Um, the Nano is actually a good or beginner friendly 3D printer but there aren't any videos showing how to set up Cura and I think a lot of you all have been asking. So this is a, I would say a simple guide on how to set up Cura for the first time. So first up we will be greeted with this page from this is Cura 15. Um, this Cura 15 is actually preloaded with the micro SD card that is given uh, with the Easy 3D Nano. So let's move along. So here we select other. Next. Custom. Next. Okay, here we can give our 3D printer name. So 3D Nano. And um, as for the dimensions, you can just uh, Google up or even look at your box. Uh, so as you can see here, this is a page from uh, Gearbest. So here's low volume building size, 90 by 110, 110. So we put it as 90 by 110, 10. And the nozzle size is 0 0.4. And there's no heated bed and the bed sector is not at uh, triple zero. I was actually at the side. Okay, so in this page, sorry, yeah, in this page, um, you will have a lot of parameters, and all these parameters are quite confusing, especially for a beginner. But I think most of us have used this software, which can preloaded with the E3D Nano. Um, it's a neat little software. It has a one key function where slicing is super fast and simple. So you have three options, fast, standard and optimized. You also have custom, but for some reason I couldn't get the custom settings to work perfectly. So what I did was, um, I wanted to find out the settings for these three because it's quite, quite it works very well with the, easy, uh, the E3D Nano. So I went and searched for this particular parameters and I came across this. So you have program files, you go to local DC, then you can go to your program files, you go to your E3D Nano, you go to configure, and you can see slice.xml. So when you click that and you come here. So here you have all the parameters from here. So you have fast, standard and optimized. As you can see, here you have fast, standard, as well as optimal. So what I did was, all these parameters are similar to this. So I, and as for me, I prefer using the standard option most of the time. So I key in all the standard options. So as you can see, layer height is 0 0.2, uh, shell, shell thickness is actually wall thickness so it's 1.2 then you have uh, fill you can see print speed print temperature and stuff like that so you just fill up as much as you can or in accordance to what uh, you prefer some of you might actually like the optimized settings so you can go ahead and copy the same optimized settings so this is a neat little way to set up uh, Cura, and I believe that uh, these settings are actually quite quite uh, accurate in terms of uh, the printing itself. So I hope that this small little trick actually helps for those um, beginners that want to use Cura. These settings are also applicable for the newer Cura versions. Uh, you just have to key in every uh, parameter that is needed in these areas. So I think with, with that, uh, that's all for me. So thank you.